I will start with uh, a kind of uh, a case vignette. Um, let's say this is Martin. Uh, you realize that he's withdrawn from his family and friends, possibly. He talks less. It looks like he cannot enjoy. Um, it seems that he has depressed mood uh, and uh, problems at work or in school. Um, what would you guess are the feelings of relatives and friends? You see uh, a person in the background. Obviously, she doesn't really know how to come in touch with him. What do you think are the feelings of relatives and friends? Please uh, just type it in the chat. Uh, anger, frustration, worried, helpless. Yes, helpless uh, looks good. Confusion. Okay, wonderful. Um, okay. Uh, I think you got it right. So uh, most relatives would feel with a person. They want to give support, but have no skill and ideas how to give support. They want to give uh, uh, advice but have no knowledge what advice to give. And therefore they feel helpless and unsecure. Um, and also uh, Martin probably, um, I would say he obviously needs support. Uh, possibly he needs treatment. He, he also feels helpless and maybe he feels ashamed because he doesn't like talk about his feelings. And in the end, he feels isolated. And mental health first aid is meant to solve this problem and to bring these people in a good conversation and allow the relatives to give support and advice. Um, generally, uh, mental health first aid was developed very closely uh, to mental uh, to first aid for physical problems. So in both cases, uh, you uh, may see a problem, you have to recognize a kind of pattern, you know what to do you, to give support, advice, and you know how to uh, bring the person in touch with a professional uh, person like a, a medical doctor, psychotherapist in this case. And the people who develop mental health first aid, they defined MHFA as help offered to a person with a developing problem of mental health or in a crisis of mental health. So the first thing and the most important thing, in my opinion, is uh, a problem we probably all know that in our social environment, there's a person who uh, looks like having a psychological problem. And we should learn how to come in touch, talk about a problem and give support. So that's the most important and really highly prevalent problem. Also, uh, MHFA addresses the problem of persons being in a crisis of mental health. So in a crisis, you may not think about, okay, tomorrow is a good opportunity to talk to him, but you have to immediately act. Uh, very important, in my opinion, MHFA is offered until prof professional support and treatment is available or the crisis, which luckily happens uh, quite often, the crisis is over. So it's not a responsibility of the first aider uh, to treat uh, the person or to take care for him for a, a long period of time, but to bring him to professional help as soon as possible. And therefore, MHFA does not replace consulting, medical or psychological treatment or support of loved ones. So um, <clears throat> the idea is that the first aid has a concept how to bring the person in the professional help system. And why, at least in my opinion, is this important? It's the pure prevalence of psychological disorders um, that makes it an important uh, topic. So uh, the estimates vary a bit, but uh, it's assumed that about 20% uh, of the German population has a serious mental health problem each year. So um, it's very clear that most of us at from time to time have um, uh, a person with a psychological problem in the social environment. And most people 
would like to help but have little knowledge about mental health and mental health disorders and they feel very insecure with persons with uh, mental health problems. Um, as a psychiatrist, um, I see that many persons with a mental health problem do not receive early treatment. It takes weeks or months, in some cases years, until the persons come to treatment. And that, of course, causes unnecessary suffering for a long period of time. Risk for social problems, uh, for example, workplace problems, uh, secondary health problems could be um, uh, problems with drugs or alcohols, or could be physical health problems uh, as a consequence of psychological problems. And of course, in the, in the period of untreated disorder, there is a high risk of suicide, um, which could be avoided. Um, best studied for schizophrenia, we know that as an impaired prognosis of treatment, um, that correlates with the duration of untreated psychosis. And that's also true. I think that's uh, um, uh, clear evidence for substance-related disorders. So the longer it takes to bring a person with an alcohol problem to treatment, the, the worse is the prognosis. And therefore, relatives and friends, they could uh, help to contribute to early recognition of a serious mental health disorders. They could provide competent support and activate resources. So it's not only to pamper and help the person, but also to activate their own resources. And they should, I think, most importantly, give advice regarding treatment. These are the two persons who developed the program in Australia in 2000. So on the left side, we see Betty Kitchener. Uh, so from education, she's a, um, a nurse. Uh, she suffers from um, uh, depressive episodes and mainly developed the program together with Anthony John, her partner. He is a psychiatrist and his research was always about early recognition of psychological disorders. And that's really a big advantage of this program because there was research uh, on the program right from the beginning. And right now we have, as if I remember right, more than 80 uh, PubMed hits. Um, mostly controlled trials on the effects of MHFA and three meta analysis which uh, I will talk about uh, a few slides later. Um, so what's the course about? The content of the course is uh, first step basic knowledge on mental health disorders. Uh, so this is about the impairments, the prevalences, etc. Uh, and then the course focuses on mood problems, anxiety problems, psychotic symptoms, and substance-related problems as the four um, main <clears throat> uh, disorders uh, in psychiatry. And now we come to the crisis. So each of these disorders has its uh, crisis. And for depression, for example, suicidal thoughts and actions could be uh, a crisis where you have to immediately act to help the person. Um, uh, the course is not on non-suicidal self-injury, a highly prevalent problem um, in adolescence, uh, but that's included in a course program called USE, which we will uh, implement uh, next year. Uh, so for the anxiety disorders, panic attacks are a crisis, and also the course is on uh, how to care for a person after a traumatic event. The course is about severe acute psychotic states, so when a person is uh, out of reality, um, and on severe consequences of drugs and alcohol, uh, like intoxication or aggressive behavior. The teaching methods are, of course, presentations and discussions. Um, but most important, in my opinion, role play. So this is where, where you can train uh, your health behavior. Um, case studies, so it works a lot with uh, case vignettes where it's discuss discussed how to take care for a person in a special situation. Uh, videos with information about the disorders and videos about affected persons and uh, videos that explain special disorders, um, like for example, depression or uh, substance related disorders. 
And there is a kind of mnemonic guided action plan. So in German, for example, with physical first aid, you have ABC. <clears throat> A is Atemwege freimachen, uh, take care for the airways. Um, B, we beatmen, C, we cardiac compression. And we have a similar system like that, which is trained again and again. Um, so that the uh, course participant in the end knows uh, how to uh, act in uh, respective situations. So it's a highly interactive uh, 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 training. So the course is mainly about knowledge in first hand. So it's about signs and symptoms of mental health disorders. You have to, uh, let's say, recognize a pattern of symptoms. Uh, it gives information on mood problems, anxiety, psychotic states, and substance related problems. So uh, if you regard it like that, it's a health education program, which improves your health knowledge, and thereby, uh, I would assume, reduces stigma. So whenever we learn about um, something, we mainly reduce our stigma on that. Second, uh, it's on an action. So we uh, teach an action plan with five components to support persons in crisis or with the beginning mental health problem. So this leads uh, um, uh, to uh, the uh, course participants to give self-confident actions when necessary. And very important in my opinion is giving advice. So if you want to give advice how to, let's say, come to medical treatment, you, you for yourself have to learn uh, about the healthcare system in Germany. So the course gives evidence-based um, uh, information on self, peer, and professional support. The course is uh, mainly given as a face-to-face -face course. It was developed like that, and we offer the course in German and English. So uh, if given as face-to-face, -face, it's a four times three hours course. Uh, it could be given let's say every Monday evening, or sometimes it's given uh, as a weekend course, Saturday, Sunday. Um, in the Corona crisis, most countries developed online courses. And so we did, and we offered a, a, um, a online course in German and English, and we changed the format a little bit. So it's six times two hours by Zoom. Uh, uh, I, I doubt that that, that that would work fine, but uh, we now make the experience that it's very interactive as well in Zoom. So you need to, uh, you use to take the, the, the breakout rooms for the role plays, etc. So uh, it almost feels like giving the course in face to face. So what's the scientific evidence of MHFA? Uh, so these are the six main findings of uh, Morgan's uh, meta analysis. Uh, so clearly there is improved knowledge on psychological health problems and effective treatment options. No wonder if you learn about something in the end, you know more than before. <clears throat> uh, but uh, importantly, uh, the course participants have an improved recognition of mental health problems, so they recognize a pattern of symptoms uh, and uh, realize when to act. Uh, there is a reduction of stigma regarding affected persons. <clears throat> Uh, uh, most important, in my opinion, there is more willingness to support persons with mental health problems and actually more supportive action. So they come into action after the course. Okay. There are positive effects on the health, also true for the first aiders themselves. But in this field, in my opinion, there's much more research needed. And we work in a, a research institute as well. And of course, that's in our agenda. And in the end, uh, there is more self-confidence to support affected persons. Um, I told you already that the program was developed in Australia and then swept over um, uh, other countries. So in Australia, they are approaching uh, 1 million of first aiders. So this is almost 3% of the adult population. So their slogan currently now is be one of a million. Uh, in England, the program was uh, started uh, in the National Health Service, but then became independent. They now have 2,500 instructors and uh, far more than 100,000 first aiders in the general population. Uh, in the US, the program was much supported 
by the Obama administration. And uh, that's maybe the reason why they have more than 19,000 instructors and more than 2 million first aiders in the general population. Uh, and then generally the country, uh, sorry, the, the MHFA is distributed mainly in English speaking countries in Europe, first in Scandinavia, and right now starts in Austria, Germany, Switzerland, France and Luxembourg almost at the same time. And uh, regarding globally, there are more than 4 million persons uh, having um, been in a mental health first aid training. <clears throat> How is MHFA distributed? Um, that's a little bit um, a strange hierarchical system. Uh, the Australians always give one country, in, one, in each country, one provider the license uh, to distribute MHFA. The reason for that is that they want to be sure that the program is delivered right like it's developed. So there is scientific evidence for, um, it's for the effects, but only if you, of course, give the course as developed. And that's why they prefer to have only one license provider in each country. So we in Mannheim, uh, each month uh, give one uh, instructor training. That's a five day course. The instructors come from all over Germany. Now we have about 130 instructors and then they go back to their uh, hometown and give uh, the first eight courses in their community or at this time also online. who can be instructors, so we are, we are very strict with these rules that are um, um, given in all countries. Uh, so, but we, we really take, have a serious look on the professional experience in support and treatment of persons with mental health problems. So most of our instructors are MDs, psychologists, psychiatric nurses, social workers in psychiatry. So we don't look at um, um, a professional qualification, but on the lived experience uh, with persons with mental health problems. Of course, our instructors all have basic knowledge of mental health disorders and their treatments. Um, we have a look on their attitude towards persons with mental health problems. And of course, we want to be sure that they have experience with presentations and with conducting courses. Um, so ideally, it's a psychiatrist, psychotherapist, a psychiatric nurse, but we consider other persons as well. So if they have enough uh, background uh, um, with uh, uh, other persons with mental health problems. So there are several type of courses. <clears throat> we started last October, so it's uh, about, our program is about one year old and we currently have uh, the program adult, adult supporting adults, a 12 hour course. It's the main part of the MHFA program. Uh, we think that we will implement next year the program use. So this is adult supporting use. So that's for parents, teacher, teachers, trainers, um, a 14 hour course. So there is a little bit more knowledge uh, included on uh, non-suicidal self-injury and on um, eating disorders. From a global perspective, only few countries use elderly. So that's adults supporting elderly. Also a 14 hour course with a little bit more knowledge in on depression in the elderly, dementia um, and uh, delirium. So that's of course for persons being together with the elderly. We hope that we can establish that program in 2023. And we will, uh, get a license for use together with a license for teen. So that's in fact teen supporting other teens, very important in my opinion, with the help of adults. So don't keep it a secret if your friend says, I have suicidal thoughts, but support your, uh, your peer with the help of adults. That's the main uh, content of this program. Um, Australia is a huge country where it's not possible for everybody to visit an MHFA course. So MHFA Australia developed the guidelines. So they are on depression, suicide, panic attacks, and many more psychological problems. And you can download them for free in English on the Australian 
webpage and uh, translate it in German on our webpage. So if you have not visited a course, but have the feeling that you should support right now uh, um, another person, uh, download uh, these guidelines and you have a first you have a first information and kind of essence of the courses. We had, of course, a, a discussion on the uh, prices of damage FA courses. For legal reasons, we don't define the price, so that's defined by the individual instructor. We have a kind of suggested price, which is 198 euro. Uh, and so far, most um, instructors keep that. So this price includes the honorary for the instructor and also kind of basic fee, which we need for the web page and our team. You can book all of these open courses on our web page. Uh, we do many more courses, mainly for companies that know the program from US or the UK and say, oh, fine, that you offer the program right here. Um, so part of the courses are open courses, which can be booked uh, via the web page, and part of the courses are closed uh, courses for companies and also non-profit organizations. Um, we have a very strict quality management, so we want to get the feedback of every course participant. So they uh, give us answers to uh, 14 questions. We want to be sure that the instructor gives the course exactly as we think he should give it. And also there are um, feedbacks uh, on, uh, on plus. So people say the course gives a good overview of topics which are important for many, but are not uh, uh, talked about much. Um, the course the course should be standard and in fact that's the vision of the program that an MHFA course uh, should be uh, be as common as a physical first aid course. People say I get a better understanding and security um, uh, with uh, persons with mental health problems etc. So we have really very positive feedback from this uh, quality management feedback. So the course is organized not only by me, but we are a kind of organization trio. Uh, so I do it together with Simon Mona Maltese and Tabea Sent. Left you see our contact data. Uh, important that we could not have started the program without the support of the Professor Otto Beisheim Stiftung. They do not only give us money to start the program, but also really um, have their own part of the programs which are organized by them. The organizing body is the Central Net Institute of Mental Health here in Mannheim. And I'm sure that you have questions, which I will be happy uh, to answer. Uh, please give your questions in the, in the chat or uh, um, as open questions. Thank you for attendance. Thank you very much, Professor, Professor Deutschler. So um, we already have a question, but I will stop the recording now.